Hey, sneaking us back. Right, today we're going to have a look at Scratch 3, which is scheduled for release in August. So at the moment, this is just a preview. You can go and try it yourself if you want to. Just look it up and you'll find it. And it's quite a bit different from Scratch 2 and Scratch 1, isn't it? Quite a bit. It's a very, very clean looking interface and there's going to be more features. But at the moment, there's not too many. But you're still allowed to have a play with it. So we still get Scratch the Cat as your main icon to start with, of course. One of the main things is you don't have to go to each section to go to the blocks you need to use. So before, we used to have to go to Events, When Clicked, etc, etc. Well, you don't have to do that now. You can just scroll down every single one of them. Can you see? A lot easier for some people. But for younger kids, I think it might be a bit too much because of the colour coding. Now, the colours are a little bit different too. Okay, Because we're on the white background and it's quite prominent, they're going to be able to differentiate between motion and and sensing. Can you see a difference? In Scratch Run, we did have quite a bit of problem with that with some of the younger children. But hey, I've let them have a play with this one and they rather like it. Okay, what else can I have to show you? Well, most of the blocks are still the same. Nothing much changed there. We still get looks, they're all their next costume, clear graphic effects, they're all the same. Events, all the same really. But there's some extra bits and bobs here. If you look carefully, they will look different. Under control, we used to get our loops for repeat and forever. If then and else, we don't know what to do with them. And the sensing, I think it's still the same, as you can see. Yeah, basically the same. But we also get loudness and timer. Ooh. Operators, I can't see anything different. But we do get join apple and banana. Yeah. No, don't even ask me about that one. And of course we get variables. So the variables are going to be the same. So we've got set my variable, change the variable to show variable, and hired variable. But of course, most of the time you're going to be making your own variable when you're using this. As for costumes, that's all the same. You can still draw your own costumes and alter this here. So if I click on him, you can change him, move him around, make him bigger or smaller or whatever you want to do. Okay. Sounds, of course, they're still the same. We still get the meow, but I'm not going to do that for you. You can meow yourself. Right, what else do we get? Well, on the top bar, as you can see, that's it. It's a lot more, less complicated. But if I go to File, at the moment you can only upload from your computer or download to your computer because it's still in testing. So a lot of it you can't use at the moment. But it's a couple of features I do want to show you in a little while, okay? So at the moment you can't share, you can't see the community because they're still working on it. You can't actually log in if you wanted to because they're still working on it. Coming soon, we can't do that either. Whatever that was. Was that open a file system? I can't remember. Oh, we still get that as well, okay? We can do, still get the how-tos. Spin around, say hello, run away, glide, change size, switch costume. So that's nice. That's a lot better, actually. You get more there for you to have a look at. Remember, this is an online version. There should be, in theory, a downloadable version as well for Windows, Mac, and Linux. But we'll wait and see how quick that comes along. You can't change the name of your little Scratch project either. And you will find some of your projects will not work in this, okay? They just won't work. Some of the ones you've done in Scratch 2. Hopefully, by the time it's released, it'll be more compatible. Now, what's the things I really wanted to show you? Okay, well, here we go. Ready? Down here, we've got Add Extensions. Now, this is all by default this time. So you can play music, draw your stripes with pens, video motion. They're the ones we can use at the moment. But... These are the ones I'm really waiting for. Hopefully they're going to be updated on this preview really soon. Speech recognition. Connect with your micro bit to the physical world using a scratch. Lego We Do. So that's for motors and sensors. Lego Mindstorms. For robots and more. And Lego Boost for more motors and sensors. That's going to be fantastic for, say, year six and seven. Fantastic. So scratch will still do what we normally want him to do. So if I go to events, we'll go click on... The flag when he does stuff in we go to motion we get our steps 10 steps we want to repeat that really don't we we really really want to repeat that so if we go to control repeat that 10 times so move that over here well, when it goes on to link like that and when we click the there it'll move that 10 steps 10 times 10 times if i could speak properly so 10 steps isn't very far is it really so if i go back here because some of you may never even use scratch okay it's just basically Java stroke Python. You can use both languages to do stuff. So if I put in 20, 
click there, and then click the fag, obviously it goes a lot further. Now you see where I'm coming from. But I'm really looking forward to the extensions. Also, if we go to choose a new sprite, we've got quite a few sprites here at the moment, but the rest of them are all empty. Okay. Oh, oh, oh that's, that's new. Okay, that must have come the other day. Got any dance ones? No fantasy. Yes, it's all coming onto line there. So they are working on it as we go, which is fantastic. Oh, yeah. Now, two days ago, this wouldn't happen. All you had was all. But as you can see, we've got Dinosaur 1 and Dinosaur 2, Dinosaur 3, Dinosaur 4. There's a lot more sprites for your students to play with. Now, as in for backgrounds, I'm not sure what we got. Not too many still. But it seems every week there's new stuff that they've fixed, and we're going back. So I'm really looking forward to using Scratch 3. It's going to be really good. It's going to be interesting to see how some of the older students use it when they've been using the older versions and see how they get along with it. But from what I've seen in class, it's going to be super lovely. Sneaky Linux out. I see those. Bye-bye.